Cyflex and uh, notice how fast this deforms, so it's just basically real time. Um, but it also, it's also a very nice uh, deformation plugin for cloth. It, it creates very nice wrinkles uh, and folds. Thought I'd just show you where you should put the uh, put the plugin file. You should after you downloaded it, it sh should be here in this location. Um, that is, if you're going for the product lock version, which is, you probably are if you're using this. Uh, there's also a no lock in a floating option when you buy. Send um, your product lock uh, five numbers to this address and uh, include email and company name, name or company name. Once you've done that, they will send you a license file, which you will put here. So you'll add the plugin, of course, and uh, you'll notice that is that you don't really need to add it here uh, because the Cyflex is a deformer. So uh, you'll find the plugin here. So add that. Go for properties, and this should be called uh, cloth, in my opinion. But it's called property, so you can change the settings here. Um, however, you can see that it collides with that object, and the way you do that is by saying add a force, add a collision mesh. Once that is done, you'll go here and go for that collision mesh force choose the collision object so just a super quick intro to Cyflex it's very important that um, the plugin is, is placed here and uh, or else it won't uh, run. Um, I thought I had to use a dongle but it seems to work fine. Just unplug the dongle and Cyflex is still running so that's good. Um, so yeah just a quick intro to installing Cyflex with a product lock license.